there guys, my name is Coach Shad Longster Born, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park news from update where today teasing has begun for FujiQ Highlands brand new roller coaster set to open in 2022, uh, which gives you a sign as to how big this project is, the fact they're teasing it in 2020. Um, so yeah, we're going to be talking about the teaser image, not much to give away with it unfortunately, but I'm going to just share more predictions to what I think it could be as well. Uh, so before we get into this video, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that, I will release Coaster Child merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So that is how you can interact with the channel and let's get into this video then. So, the teaser image just says, coming soon. Now, obviously there's not much to say on the front of it, there's not much to reveal on the basis of it, however, um, looking on the um, outskirts of it, with the text in yellow and white writing, uh, with the yellow, yellow outline, white text, uh, basically that maybe could suggest a colour scheme or some kind of hint to the theme with the yellow or the white or both. Uh, but that's all we can get at the minute. I, I really don't think it'll matter much. Uh, I don't think that will tell us what colour scheme it will be or what theme it will be. I think it's just a guess at this point because there's not really much in the teaser picture that gives anything away really. Uh, so for those of you who need a reminder, uh, this is scheduled to open in July 2022, so in the summer. And uh, it will cost 3.6 billion Japanese yen. So... Um, you know, this is, a, this is a massive project, and to be fair, when I ran that through the um, translator, um, so basically I ran that through, and um, so looking at it, you've got 3.6 billion yen. So looking at it on the precipice of it, it is nearly 27 million pounds. So that is a massive budget for a coaster you know banshee at king's island which is a b&m inverted coaster that was 24 million dollars that was the park's largest investment at king's island at the time so you know the, to think that this is more expensive than banshee is a statement by future q highland now of course we don't know what co kind of coaster type we're looking at but i will go into those potential options right now so there we go guys, that is the look at the teaser image for this Future Q Highland roller coaster. Now, looking at the four major extreme coasters, you've got Ijanika, which is your fourth dimension coaster. You've got Dodonpa, or Don Dodonpa, which is your launch coaster. You've got Fujiyama, which is your Togo sit down coaster. And you've got Takabisha, which is your Gerstai Eurofighter. So they're the four major extreme coasters in my opinion. Now, one thing I think is missing from that is an inverter coaster. Now, like I said before, Banshee was $24 million. So, looking at it from the precipice of it, 20, nearly £27 million, which is translated from the 3.6 billion Japanese yen, is a bigger budget. Even if you translate the pound version to dollars, it's still a bigger budget than Banshee. Uh, by, a, by a few million, so a um, couple, between a couple and a few million, so, you know, looking at something bigger than Banshee, which is a massive project, and also the fact they're teasing this, and I mentioned this earlier, the fact they're teasing this now, rather than next year in 2021, says that this is a massive, massive project, uh, and in my opinion, this will be the biggest project in Asia, and one of the biggest coaster projects in the world in 2022. We're in 2020, and we're talking about 2022, it's massive. Um... Who knows what's going to happen in 2022? Maybe we'll launch our tour or I'll release my book by then. But um, in all seriousness, no, it's great that we're talking about this coaster project now. 
because we can get excited now. Um, like I said, I only made a prediction with the yellow and white colour scheme and the theming and stuff like that. I don't think that'll be the case. I think that's just the colour in the writing, which is the blatant truth. But that's the only thing I could pick out from it that could mean something deep down. Deep, deep, deep down. Because there was nothing else that gave anything away. So uh, it was very interesting to pick nothing really that's going to give it away. But I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with this. I'm very excited to see what this is going to be. B&M could be in the running. I mean, they could be potentially in the running to get this coaster in the ground. Um, so it'd be very interesting to see if they do go with a B&M. If they go with an Intamin, are we looking at something like a launch coaster? So a, a multi-launch? Obviously, they've got Dome to Dome Power, which wouldn't make a lot of sense to have another launch coaster because it would make that pretty much obsolete in my case. But... You know, are they going to go with something multi-launch that's a bit more modern than Dome to Dome Pad? Um, which is kind of like an air launch coaster, I guess, when they replace the, the hill with the loop. Um, so it's very interesting to see what kind of route they're going to go down. Obviously a B&M wing, the tallest, fastest, longest, steepest, most inverting wing coaster in the world. That would make sense. Um, but of course they've got a fourth dimension coaster, so again, you know, would it match? Probably not. Um, hyper coaster. I mean, they've got the Togo sit down coaster, but you know, a hyper coaster or a Giga could, would give more airtime. But again, how would you, you know, structure that? How would you fit it around? Because you know, this is going into the Mad Mouse site. Of course, that's the old Wild Mouse coaster that was removed last year. It's replacing that, and I'm sure massive space behind it. So that opens up a massive coaster site, including Mad Mouse and like the car park behind it. So. You know, you've got a massive site for this project, which is what's going to be happening. So, um, obviously when we get to doing the 2022 uh, new attractions in Asia video, like we're doing next year and then the year after, of course. But, uh, I'll talk more about it then when we get more details of it then. But, of course, from now till 2022, we can do keep delivering news updates, construction updates, marketing updates, announcements about the from the park for themselves about this new ride. So we'll keep updating you guys on what's been happening, but uh, for now at least, I think the teasing has begun. The Hunger Games have begun. <laughs> uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news from update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow. Keep on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.